Hello everybody, welcome back to the Doof Plays. Um, last episode we started inscription and we lost our first run, but this time we're gonna do better. I hope. The meager coyote, but what do you expect for only four bones? Okay, so this is, this. they do coyotes by bones, I guess that makes sense. The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. Six bones. Or an unkillable cockroach returns to your hand after dying? Yo, resources, definitely doing cockroach. You know, you're free to get up again. Why is it to keep your blood flowing? This makes me think like there's actually, you may stand up whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to, uh, time to play an next encounter, but do keep your hands on my possessions. Makes me think that those like actual, you know, things that you need to interact with. Like this clock. Why does it have three hands? Can I, can I grab that? What? What's this? Mighty leap, a card bearing a sigil will block. Oh. Oh, wait. Oops. Okay, this is telling me like the skills. Okay. By by Fakir to strike, a card bearing on the stage will strike each of Pilsen space to left and right the space across from it. Okay. That's really good too. Frozen away, when a card bearing on the stage will perishes, the creature inside will, is released in its place. Interesting. Freaking bearer, when a card bearing the sigil is placed, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Okay. Steel trap, when a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature posing it perishes as well. A pellet is created in your hand. Whatever that means. Amphorus, Amphorus, Amph Amphia, Amphorus, Amph Amphoros. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. Title lock. At the beginning of this owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Cool. Moonstrike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Leader. Creatures adjacent to this card bearing the sigil gain one power. That's great. Bellist. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a crime is. A chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is to find a zero power, one health. Oh, that's cool. It's a token. Uh, stinky. is creature posing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Okay. Makes sense. Ants. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Okay. Um, unreadable. 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 Uh, boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Awesome. Boon of the... Oh, these are boons now. Are these like curses then? No, okay. Uh, magic... Magpie's Eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. That's amazing. Um, of the Goat's Blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Sounds cool. Boon of the Fours. You start the battle with the Grand Furs on all your spaces. That seems less good. Boon of the Bone Lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. That seems pretty cool. Minor Boon of the Bone Lord. With that one extra bone. Okay, that's like a... Um, that's a big difference. Harpies! Bird leg fan. To the user, your creatures will attack as though they have airborne surgery this turn. Okay. Fish hook. To the user, hook one of the cards and take it as your own. You must have an empty space on your side to receive it. Um, a frozen opossum bottle. A frozen opossum is created in your hand. A frozen opossum is fight a zero power, faith, health, frozen away. Okay, this is the same, but a uh, black goat bottle. A failure. Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo is no use. Okay. Hourglass. Your adversary will entirely skip the next turn. Great. Augie Bank. You immediately gain four bones. Pliers, you replace a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Okay, so this is the items. Um, so that makes sense. Okay, scissors, you may cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. Amazing. 
Um, special dagger. You will place a weight on the scale so the plane is temporary. Okay, one of the differences. Like a square on a bottle, we know that is boulder in a bottle. Okay. Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is creating a hand. A rabbit is defined as, so. Uh, okay. Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is creating a hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health. Airborne. Airborne, huh? A sprinter. At the power of the owner's card, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction. Okay, we already know that. Now, when a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature dies. Okay. Fledgling. Grow to a more powerful form. Cool. Dam Builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created in each empty adjacent space. Okay. Hoarder. When a uh, card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it in hand. That's great. A burrower. When an empty space will be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. Okay. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Okay. Loose tail. When this card bearing the sigil will be struck, a tail is created in place, and the card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Hmm. Corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a co card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. That's cool. Uh, Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Waterborne, a card bearing a sigil, submerged itself during its opponent's turn, while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Huh. Unkillable. Okay, yeah. Uh, sharp quills. Once a card bearing the surge is struck, a striker is then dealt a single point of damage. Cool, cool. Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the surge will move in the direction of the inscribed in the sigil. Sigil. How many times is it saying sigil? I'm sorry. Creatures in that way will be pushed in that same direction. Ant spawner, when a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is creating your hand. Okay, and then we've we've read these, right? Yeah. And then many lives, when a card bear, bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Repulsive, if a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. Okay. A uh, card bearing the sigil is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Oh, that's pretty great. Uh, I don't know what this blood splatter is for. Anyways, I am I hope that I didn't bore you with reading that. <laughs> okay, I guess that's, um, let's go, let's continue then. Okay. Ooh, a boulder. Choose one. Um... You know, the squirrels are super useful. Let's do a squirrel. Uh, feeling boring enough with all three items you carried on? Okay. <laughs> For both of us, it's somewhere in the foul cat. What? Be silent or tear you to shreds. Hmm. Okay, stow it. Oh, I need bones. That's right. And then sacrifice you. You spot this sure? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. And then I'm my turn. Okay. Shoots. That sucks. Um, we really need to get rid of that wolf club. But we cannot. Oh, we still have the stow it, technically. We'll just do that. And then we'll end our turn. There we go. Squirrel goes down here, and we'll end our turn again. That's fine. We'll do yet another squirrel. Then we'll do the cockroach. Really? I thought I had enough. That's fine. Look at it. We're just blocking them with squirrels. Okay, now I have enough for cockroach, right? Okay, cool. And then we'll sacrifice this and this. You were you as unfortunate as a cockroach. Hmm. Alright, and then we can go. Pretty great. 
I'll do another squirrel. We'll put it right here. There we go. How brutal of you. You dealt more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. What's the trapper? I guess maybe that's uh someone on here maybe? Well. Dude, ah, uh, it's me? It's me? I'm a card? Sparrow beehive. Then inviolable this beehive. When it's attacked, you will draw a bee. Okay. Um sparrow's pretty cool. Two, two attack, six health seems pretty great though. So I'm gonna draw myself. <laughs> uh, um, is this supposed to be a boss? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. What's this item? What's this uh, right here for? I think I'm gonna go this path though. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, what's this? The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of well stocked pack. Okay. Well, that's I guess that's a positive. Okay. It's two sacrifices though, which is it's something, I guess. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good though. Ooh, got a three. Um, kind of sucks. I'm gonna take one, but that's fine. That's not good. <laughs> Another squirrel to do that. But then, ooh. do that. Yeah. Oh, I did not expect that. A well and purring damage. I didn't think you'd really do it. Okay. I was really wondering, and now I found out. <laughs> oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Back, back. Thank you. There we go. I think that was exact damage. What's this blood card for? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but the side the cost that you would wish to pay. Bones, I guess? A random card with the cost of a bone. What were you expecting? Okay. I think that was probably the best option, to be honest. The group of starving survivors stood out among the dying campfire. Okay. Uh, who do we want to enhance the power, I guess? Doof? Pack rat? No way. <laughs> Pack rat, maybe? The power of the pack rat was enhanced by the warmth. It's pretty cool. Oh, trapper. Which one said they wanted the trapper to be interested in it? I don't remember anymore. Squirrel. Now I'll put doof out for you. There we go. And then end turn. That's fine. Squirrel, squirrel you can put right here. Oof, um. 
Wolf Cub might be trouble. Let's do a squirrel in a bottle so we can get the wolf uh, the wolf right here to block the wolf cub. We'll take three bit of damage, but that's fine. Oh, okay. Yep, that's cool. Yeah. Fair enough. You have stopped around like by a trapper looking to liquidate its pelts. There is something uncanny about his appearance, but you're quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at my pelts? Take a pelt free of charge. Really? See the quant the quality? Okay. Oh, the these things, the the trap are on. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want the golden pelt, but it's seven. That sucks. Um Sure. We'll do a wolf pelt, and then that's pretty much it. Or do I have to choose all of them? You leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I don't I don't have any more. I'm sorry. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned the trader further down the path of reward for them. Oh, okay. That's interesting. What's the traitor then? Is this the traitor? I don't think so. What was this then? I forgot. Let's do it though. Oh yeah, it's this thing. Yep, okay. I can sacrifice myself? Ooh. Um, the undying cockroach though. Whoops, um... Maybe do the bullfrog, but as a pack rat? That might be good, actually. Yeah, yeah. You, go, you put on the pelts, too. Okay, so... Okay, so it does keep the, the other sigil. Okay, that's good to know. My boss battles a high stakes test to your aptitude. With one flame, you either overcome them or die. Fear not. I'll let you keep the smoke. What does the smoke do? The insensitive click clanking reverberated between your ears. The path was blocked by a grotesque figure. It's the prospector again! Oh boy! Okay, okay. Um. Wolf pout. Does nothing. Okay. The smoke, the squirrel, but sacrifice the smoke for me. Oh, and I get bones too. That's good. Okay, so let's go. Fair enough. Um. Go like that, and then we'll end our turn again. Wow, that's great. Oh no, but everything's gonna turn to gold. Oh no, that really sucks. Uh, whoop. Oh yes, okay. We'll do a squirrel. But we're gonna put the rattler right here. You're out of space. I guess that's okay then. Um. Let's just take it. Oh, whoa, what's that? Oh, wow, okay. 
dag nam in my meal. Okay, this um Oh that was kind of um What's the Warren? Rabbit hole. When a rabbit bill and scissors play, rabbit's creating your hand. Rabbit's fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, what else do I have? River snapper and a rattler. Okay. Okay. Stop, draw a card. Okay, we'll use one of these. A pack rat. That's fantastic. Um, so, what happens if you do a wolf pelt? Okay, cool. And then, um, a squirrel. And then you can sacrifice. You can't draw blood from a wolf. I just. Whoops. That was my bad, I guess. That's fine then. We'll just do that. Okay, um. I didn't screw myself out of, of winning. That would, be, that would be bad. So bad. Um. Three? Three would be right good right here. S squirrel and squirrel. But we're gonna put the Warren right here. And then we're gonna um do this. Okay, cool. Yep, okay. Then I got a wrap in my hand. And we're gonna block. Like this. And then we'll just attack. It's all good. It's all coming together. Oh boy. Okay, and then we just attack again. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite let, yet. Okay, you're, you're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted the opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I have no words for this freaking nature. A long elk? Okay, that's a touch of death. That could be useful. Oh, it actually has two of them. Okay, interesting, I guess. A largely unimpressive specimen. Strange larva. Ooh, it can evolve into something pretty cool. I'm almost tempted to know what that is. And another pack rat. Okay. Let's do the strange larva. I'm interested to know why it's weak. <laughs> With the sound of their prospectors pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you can you carry it onwards. Hmm. Oh boy. The rank smell of a hot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tried cautiously into the wetlands this um hmm, I'm kind of interested to know what this is but I'll be locked into going here which is that okay I think it is let's see I just want to just so confused about what the narrative outside of like the map is you're freaky though <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, can't get the knife. I'll never know what that combination is. Nope, not that. Um, fair enough. All right, what's the time? Twenty-four minutes? Huh. Normally, I kind of want the episode a little longer, but as I don't really know the structure of this game that well yet, I think I will leave it off here again. 
and we'll try to do the wetlands next time. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!